Hi right, guys, welcome back. Let me look at this message, see who's messaging me. Okay, it's nobody special. All right, we're gonna do Jeopardy for the week. And we'll see what happens if I can start a run on this game. <sighs> Just leave this paper open here. Getting right to the game. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. I'm gonna start the game here. One player. Leave on easy and let's do this. Have some fun here. This is Jeopardy! Today's contestants are yeah, player one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> player two, yeah. player three, and now here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, thank you very much. Let's go to work in the Jeopardy round. You're welcome very much, Alex. And the first round of play today has these categories. See the categories we Recently have. discovered presidential ads. Okay. Fictional characters. Fictional characters. Brit speak. Brit speak. Party. Okay, party. Zoology. Zoology and. And Grammy winners. All right. Player one. Let's start with fictional play. characters for two hundred. In the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Lucy gets into an old wardrobe, and discovers this magical land. Yeah, I don't know. Here's the response we were looking for. Narnia. Oh, where's Narnia? Please pick again. Player All right, 400. Fitch Snip, characters. Snap, and Snur, who star in a series of books, are brothers from this Scandinavian country. Okay, Katie's player going to go for it. With Denmark? Oh. Nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? I'll try it. Let's hear it, player one. Use the Wii remote. What or is Sweden? The corresponding direction on the plus. <laughs> yep. Choose again, player one. I'll get out of that category. Let's do party two. Paper under. gifts are the traditional gifts at the party for this anniversary of a married couple. Where's the first wedding anniversary? You are correct. Player one. Party Please for 400. Again. The British passed 1774's intolerable acts to punish Massachusetts for a party in its harbor. Yes, player one. What is Boston? That is correct. Player one. 600. For and it's a daily double. So, Answer I can wager any or all of it out of a thousand dollars and make it all a true daily double. Player one, the clue. It's the beverage that would be most appropriate at the wild, riotous bacchanalia we've got planned. Okay. What is wine? That puts you even further ahead. Two thousand dollars. Player one, back 800. In. Oktoberfest is a 16-day party held every year in this Bavarian city. Player three. Berlin. Sorry. <laughs> Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player one. What is a Munich? That's it. 
Select again. Thousand. In Mexico, a quinceanera is a girl's coming of age party on this birthday. Let's hear it, player one. What is the 15th? Yeah, good. You again, player Zoology one. Zoology for 200. The giant Pacific this may have as many as 1,600 suckers on its arms. They help it to taste and touch. It's player one. What is a squid? Sorry, Ooh, that's a squid. Anyone else? Maybe it's a starfish. Okay, player three. No. Okay, it's the octopus. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player two. Alrighty. We return to you, player two. While it doesn't breathe fire, the dragon name for this Indonesian island does kill its prey with its deadly saliva. Let's try it. Okay, player Where's one. Where's the Komodo dragon? That's right. Way to go. You get to pick again. Sorry, zoology 600. Dog gone at a mud puppy isn't a little doggy, but a large one of these amphibians. Let's hear it, player one. What is... Ugh, oh, boy, doggone it. Was it Toad? Oh. Anyone else? It's player two. Salamander. On the plus side again. Player two, you pick again, please. A type of this snake that sounds like a James Clavell novel is Australia's deadliest and most feared. Here's what we were looking for. A Taipan. Oh, Taipan. A serious snake. They return to you, player two. Fictional character six. In the grim tale, the twelve dancing princesses, twelve sisters dance so much that they wear out these every night. Yes, player three. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Okay, player one. What is their... Oh, boy. I was going to say feet. I'm going to go with wear out their shoes, wear shoes. That is correct. Please pick again, player one. Zoology thousand. The rare white alligator has a condition called leucism meaning it lacks this skin pigment. The correct response is melanin. Melanin, okay. Player one. All right, let's go with recently discovered presidential ass He drug. said a nation half slave and half free can't exist. I say he's wrong. I'm Stephen Douglas, and I approve this message. Let's hear it, player one. Who is Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. Right. Choose again, player 400. one. 400. So what if he's the first West Point grad president? Some say he drinks. You decide. I'm Horace Greeley, and I approve this message. It's player two. Oh, no, it's Grant. He does look like he so drinks. Again. Grammy winner. 1978. Just the way you are. Yes, player one. Who is Christopher C Cross? Sorry, that's wrong. If it's Billy Joe, Gary's gonna kill me. Any other takers? Player two. 
Oh shoot, I'm embarrassed. Player two, back to you for our next selection. 1966, Strangers in the Night. Here's the correct response. Frank Sinatra. All oh, right, Frank, Tr Frank Sinatra. You again, player two. Oh, Brugu Eyes. 1992, Tears in Heaven. I'm not good with my music. Here's the correct response. Eric Clapton. Okay. Player two, pick again. 1995. Kiss from a Rose. Oh, I know that one. Okay, player one. Who is Theo? Yeah! Good for you. You get Grammy winners the thousand. 1973. Killing Me Softly with his song. I know that one too. Yes, player one. Who is Roberta Flack? Right you are. Player one. Okay, Back let's in. do uh, presidential ads. In 1814, this general had a pirate, Jean Lafitte, help him in New Orleans. What's next? I'm John Quincy Adams, and I approve this message. Let's hear it, player one. Who is... I'm going to say who is Andrew Jackson. Yeah! Right. Player one, hey, Andrew. You. you elect him, I say in seven months the economy will be in shambles. I'm Al Smith, and I approve this message. Here's what we wanted. Herbert Hoover. Okay. Please pick again. Let's finish that. Alex Hamilton wants him to be president. Them's fighting words. I'm Aaron Burr, and I approve this message. Hmm. I was going to say Andrew Jackson again, but that's not it. Here's the response we were looking for. Thomas Jefferson. It was Thomas Jefferson. Okay. Player one. You okay, Briggs beat for 200. Can I see a cuppa, love? Cuppa is a cup of this. Player one? With uh, coffee. Oh. No. No? It's not coffee? Anyone else? Maybe it's a cup of tea? Here's what we were looking for. Tea. Select again. I have 400. This brand name has become a noun and a verb for vacuum. It's player one. What is a uh, Hoover? Good. We return to you. Sorry. While Americans put gas in their cars, the British put in this six-letter equivalent. Yes, player one. What is... Petrol. That's correct. Player one. Eight hundred. This term for an electrical outlet sounds like a presentations program from Microsoft. We'll try it. Let's hear it, player one. What is a PowerPoint? Yes. You again, player one. As they have a tendency to burst open in the frying pan, sausages are popularly called these. I think I know this one. Okay, player one. What are bangers? You got it. You get to pick again. The fish no care just for Andrew. This orphan befriends a goat herd named Peter when she's sent to live with her grandfather in the Swiss Alps. It's player one. Who is... Oh, shoot. Who is Heidi? That's correct. And for a thousand. And now the thousand dollar clue. She's the title heroine of Green Gables in a classic 1908 book. Player one. Who is Anne? Correct. 
All right, and ten thousand hundred dollars for the first round. Players Not bad. In third place which means, of course, player three will select first in double jeopardy. Okay, going to double jeopardy. We start the double jeopardy categories with this one: medieval Europe. Okay. Top forty hit makers. Okay. From page to screen, science. The southernmost nation. Okay. And from the Latin. Player three. You go first in the top forty hit makers. Round. Okay. Twelve thirty. Young girls are coming to the canyon, and California dreaming. It's player one. What is the mama and the papas? Getting off of that, player let's do science for 400. It's the weakest of the four basic forces, but it's strong enough to keep the moon orbiting the Earth. Okay, player one. What is, let's say, gravity? Where's gravity? Right. We return to and player science. Let's go to the clue crew for this next clue. A cubic inch of material contains a million, billion, billion of these, each with protons and neutrons in its nucleus. Let's hear it, player one. What are, uh, huh. I want to say, what are, um, atoms? Right. <laughs> Choose again. 1,200 science. Changes in the tropospheric layer of this are what give us weather. Yes, player one. What is the um, atmosphere? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> science for 1,600. To test deep water structures, wave tanks generate waves, wind, and this water flow from the Latin for running. I'm gonna stay off of that one. Here's the correct response. Current. Oh, right, current. So let's, right, let's finish science. The name of this eighth element is from a Greek word meaning sharp. Let's see if I can remember that. Player one. Okay. Oxygen is one. What is potassium? Oh. No, it's, hyd it's hydrogen. Any other takers? That cost me 2,000. I haven't read a periodic case in a while. Is oxygen. Well, it's oxygen. Shoot. Layer one, you pick again, please. All right, let's do from the Latin for 400. This type of sphere with a map of the Earth depicted on it has a name from the Latin for sphere. Okay, layer one. What is a globe? Yeah. Good for you. Please pick again. From the Latin and This kind of book is quite handy. Its name comes from the Latin for hand. Let's try it. It's player one. What is a guide? That's not it. Okay. I think it's manual. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the correct response. A manual. Okay. Player one. 1,200. Here's Kelly to start us off. A non-structural embellishment at the end of a calligraphic letter is called one of these, from the Latin for flower. Yes, player one. What is... A flourish? Yeah. That's correct. You get to pick again, Let's player one. Let's do Latin 1600. The name of this fin on a shark's back comes from the Latin for back. Let's hear it, player one. What is the dorsal fin? Yeah. That is correct. 
You again. 2000. That's a Daily Double. And so, the first of the Daily Doubles. You are in the lead right now. Okay, I got a good lead. Let's do a thousand dollars only. And the clue. Texas A&M's Coastal Engineering Lab studies the coastal type of this from the Latin for to gnaw. With erosion. Congratulations, you're still in first. Fifteen thousand dollars. Here we go. One, back to you. Let's do southernmost nation for four hundred. India, Indonesia, Iran. Player one. Think about that. With Indo with Indonesia. Yes. Select again. A hundred. Nepal, Nicaragua, Norway. Yes, player three. Okay. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Okay, player one. What is Norway? Nicaragua. Any other takers? Nicaragua. It's player two. That's it. All right. Player two. Pick again. Syria, Suriname, Sweden. I'm gonna back off. Here is what we wanted. Suriname. Okay, Suriname. Okay. Please pick again. Player two. Portugal, Papua New Guinea, Pakistan. Let's hear it, player three. Right you are. Player three, back to you. 69 years apart, Lillian Gish and Demi Moore got an A for effort for starring in films based on this classic novel. We're talking about The Scarlet Letter. Okay. You again, player three. The film A and P is based on a story by this Rabbit Run author. I'll read a lot of off uh, books here. Player two. Right. It got up tight. Choose again. Player two. Oh, Rochester. William Hurt was in the 1996 version of this oft-filmed Bronte classic. Okay, player two. Good. Now she's catching up now. Player two, back to you for our next selection. Marilyn Monroe longed to play Grushinka in the 1958 film of this Dostoevsky saga, but Maria Schell got the part. Here's what we wanted. The Brothers Karamazov. Okay. The Brother Karamazov. We return to you, player two. All right. Fitzgerald didn't finish this novel, so screenwriter Harold Pinter had to come up with an ending for the 1976 film. Player one. What is... I don't know, where's the last tycoon? That is correct. Two. You get to pick again, player one. All right, let's do medieval Europe performance. Let's get Kelly's assistance on this clue. Bodium Castle in Sussex was built during the Hundred Years' War to defend England from this foe. Here's the correct response. France. France, okay. Player one, you pick again. All right, medieval Europe, France. St. Augustine established himself in this city as the first archbishop of the English church.
It's player three. Yes. <laughs> You've got some money again. You again, player three. Mongolia, Malta, Malawi. Yes, player three. Yes. Malawi, okay. We return to you, player three. That's the other daily double. Yeah. So, the second daily double. Player three, you are currently I'm going to beat it all. How much? Here is your daily double clue. In the 1177 piece of Venice, Frederick I, nicknamed this for his red beard, acknowledged Alexander III as Pope. Barbarossa. All right. Second place for you. All right, here we go. Please pick again. Player three. We're in love with the medieval French literary work called This of the Rose. Let's hear it, player three. Hey, oh, man, he's trying to catch up. Player three, back to you. This dynasty of Frankish kings ruled France from 751 to 987. Not gonna buzz in on anything I don't know. Here's the correct response. The Carolingian dynasty. Oh, wow. Player three, back to you for our next selection. Brother Love's Traveling Salvation Show and Sweet Caroline. Here's the response we were looking for. Neil Diamond. With Neil Diamond, okay. Player three, pick again. What would you say? And crash into me. Okay, player three. That's correct. <laughs> the Dave Matthews band. Select again. Saturday night special and woo, free bird. Here's what we were looking for. Leonard Skinner. Okay, let's do the last clue. And the last clue for $2,000. Harry Truman and 25 or 6 to 4. Well, I have this one anyway. We're talking about Chicago. Oh, my city. Wow. Congratulations Shucks. to all of you. You'll be continuing on to Final Jeopardy when we come back. Here comes the final Jeopardy players. The category is this. Italian inventors. What are you going to wait? I'll bid a little something. Let's do $1,400. My run's going to continue anyway. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. All right, players, this is what it comes down to. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. In 1910, his new invention helped Scotland Yard catch a murderer escaping to North America across the Atlantic. Okay, that's my answer. Did you come up with the correct response? With that Ooh. correct response... <laughs> oh, they ever came. get these uh, found jeopardies. What did you put as your response? That's why I said. And that will lose you. Fermi. Did I say Fermi? Let's make sure. What did you say? I said Tesla, yeah. Sorry, oh. that incorrect response will drop your score. By Only the $1,400. But I will get to start a run, though. $15,200. Congratulations, player one. I'll take You're that. There. So long, everybody. So we'll do a run of Japanese on here.
Alright guys, this is Rodney1279 signing off. Hey, be safe and be careful. Take care, everybody. And we're going to do Second Fortune later on. Goodbye, everybody.